bracket four times three times one in parentheses. And then we have our closing brackets here with the to the power of two symbol right there next. And then we have our friendly closing bracket followed by minus 100. Well, as I've told you before, you can look at the order of operations. And some of you remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That might help you. I like to write it down on the side. So we're parentheses. Of course, now we've included brackets and braces in that. And um, you do those in the order of inside to out. Then we have exponent. That's the next level. You can see parentheses, brackets, and braces are at the top level order of operations. So you do those first. Then we have exponents would be on the next level, followed by multiplication and or division. That's all done left to right. And at the last level, the very bottom level of operations, we have addition and subtraction, all done left to right. So now I'll take some time. I'll switch colors with my marker. Won't be able to use black. Nope, sorry, because, well, look, the background's black. So. Anyways, we'll move on. Now, I'm taking a look over here at parentheses. Okay, and now, of course, that includes brackets and braces. And we do those inside to out. So I'm looking, I'm scanning through this problem, and I'm looking, and oh, look, I see inside here these parentheses. And they are on the innermost um, portion of the problem here. Okay, so, well, let's see how we're going to evaluate this. We'll start with the parentheses in the middle. All right, well, I see inside there, which unfortunately for us today, we have only one operation. If there were more than one, you could even have exponents or multiplication or division or addition or subtraction in there. And within those parentheses, you kind of have your own order of operations. But fortunately, like I said, we only have one. And it's, it's the multiplication step. You can see the multiplication symbol right there. So we're going to do 3 times 1. And hopefully you're thinking to yourself, well, I know that. That is 3. Okay. So like I recommended before, you're going to write all of the other additional things that we haven't used in there. We'll still keep that 3 in parentheses. We have the 4 outside um, surrounded by brackets, the whole thing, and the power of 2 up there. And on the very outside of that, we have the braces kind of hugging all everything all together, kind of like a piece of bread on the outside of a sandwich. And then outside of that, we have to still subtract 100. Okay. Now, all right, I'm going to look for, well, Parentheses, are there any more parentheses or brackets or braces? Okay, I still see I still see the parentheses I took care of, but since there's there's only a single number in there, I don't have to do any other operations. So I'm pretty much done with those. But I notice on the outside here I have this four inside the brackets. Okay. You can see these brackets here. They kind of stand out to you. There they are. Okay. So we're gonna deal with What's inside there? Okay. Well, we've got four, and then inside that parentheses is a three. So you probably know if you practice already. We've had practice with this several times so far. So you know that if there's no no symbol between the four and three, you know that you multiply. So I'm going to take these two numbers and multiply them together. I'll get four times three equals twelve. Hopefully you were thinking that to yourself. And again. I will rewrite what I have left from the problem. I took care of what was inside the brackets. So now, let's see, I've got, oh, well, you, if you'd like, you can put those brackets there. We have a 12 and a, a power of 2 up there. I get a power of 2 as an exponent, okay. And then we have braces along the outside. 
and then braces along the back of that, followed by a subtract 100. And we're ready to move on to the next step, I believe. Let's go here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now I still see uh, parentheses. Well, I don't see parentheses anymore, but I have brackets and I have braces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look inside the very inside and I see a 12. There's nothing left to do there because it's, it's a digit all by itself. So it's a two-digit number all by itself. So now I look, I see this, I see this power of two kind of hanging out right there. Look at that. Power of two inside these braces. Okay, so something is going to be elevated to a power of two. Well, look at that. It's a 12 in there. So 12 to the power of two. What does that mean to the power of two? Oh, look at that, an exponent. So look on our, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, we have P for exponent. So let's take care of that now. That's next in our order of operations. All right, so let's give ourselves some room here. Now I've got 12 to the second power. Oh, what is that? I think I was talking to Kaylee yesterday about that, and she was pretty, pretty good at that. And she told us that, well, this number here, the exponent, tells us to multiply the number inside here by itself two times. So I should say, okay, I'll have 12 two times, and I'm going to multiply those together. All right, so now I'm looking at 12 times 12. Still in the braces, minus 100. Oh, what is 12 times 12? A dozen dozen, you might ask. Well, there's a name for that. And if you've memorized those 12 tables or 12 multiplication facts, you get 12 times 12 is 144. If you looked at your planners for that, well, that's one way to look at it. But it wouldn't help to memorize that. Whoops, I should have switched markers back down. Kind of like the subtraction symbol. Kind of Christmas themed. Look at that. Christmas color. Oh, isn't that jolly? All right, so now I'm going to subtract these two to come up with a number. Well, I've got 144. And if you're not sure what that is, so you write it up over here on the side. 144 minus 100. No decimals to really think of other than every every whole number has a decimal after uh, the ones in it. So uh, you don't have to worry about lining up place values. So let's take a look at here. Four take away zero is, is four, and four take away zero is four, and then one take away zero is zero. I wouldn't worry about that. So then there it is. I've got 44. Boy, look at that. As well as some check my order of operations I took care of them. There really was not any mul too much multiplication or division to worry about. Within the exponents, you kind of see multiplication there. Okay, that's taken care of. And the last step was that subtraction step where we subtracted 144 minus 100. And your answer is... Sorry, I'm sorry. It is 44. There it is. Okay. And that's the end of the first one.